Hi friends, today we're going to be unboxing the HP Sprocket 3x4 printer. Let's start off by opening this box. I've already cut the little bottom here, so we're just going to flip this bottom piece open. I am so excited about this printer. I love their products. I already used the HP Sprocket 2x3 printer and I also have a 4x6 printer, but once I found out they had a 3x4, I was so excited. So this is what you'll receive in your box. Um, this is just, not sure what this little guy is for, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. <laughs> and then you'll also get, of course, your printer. So this is the HP Sprocket printer, as well as this little charging cable. And this is what you'll use to charge your printer and to do all of the things. So the HP Sprocket printer actually uses this USB cable to charge. Now we're gonna just open up this little package here. Here's how you insert in your paper. It shows you, you always have to do the blue side facing down. And then this is little instructions. So um, I already have the HP Sprocket app on my phone. Um, but if you don't, you will need to get it. And basically it is so cool. You're able to customize your photos, add some filters, add anything that you'd like within your photo before you print it out. So that's what I received as well as this little manual for product regulatory information. I'm going to just slip these back in here. And here we have the HP Sprocket paper. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. I love this. So I'm gonna just load my paper in it. And we always add it in with the blue side down, so just make sure you remember that. Another thing I like to remember is that the shiny side goes up. What's great about these photo papers is it requires no ink, and this is also an adhesive back, so you are able to paste it wherever that you'd like. So let's go ahead and try this out. I did end up charging this for a little bit before I turned it on, but you'll just turn it on by the side button here. And upon downloading the app, you'll be asked to pair your printer and you, it'll show up in your available printers as soon as you turn on your HP Sprocket. You can even customize, name your printer, and change the color of the LED light at the front. Here I'm experimenting with many different colors. I ended up going with the purple one. The setup is super easy and simple. From there, you're able to print out any photo from your phone to your HP Sprocket. As soon as you hit print, it goes into an app queue and then it sends it to the printer queue to print your photo. Of course, the blue page prints first and this is how the printer sounds. After you're done customizing all your photos, adding all your fun stickers and or captions, the whole printing process takes about one minute to complete. And here's the photo after it's done printing. It is so cute and I absolutely love it. I thought it'd be fun to show you an example of how I use my HP Sprocket photos in a bullet journal spread. I chose to base my bullet journal spread on my Golden Doodle Miso. The weather was absolutely gorgeous and I had this leftover paw print that we did in a previous project. So I chose to add that to the mix. I paired it with the pictures that we printed from the HP Sprocket and I also added some washi tape that was pink and had some flowers on it. And I kind of followed the whole theme of pink throughout this whole entire spread as well. And here I'm using my Tombow dual ended brush pen to write out her name. And I used my jelly roll pen to highlight it with a nice shade of pink. I also added some embellishments on the side of a heart and a paw print. And I put Miso's paw print by the side of her own. I ended up using my HP Sprocket 2x3 printer to just add one last photo of Miso when she was a small puppy in the bottom right corner of my journal spread. Exactly like the 3x4 printer, this one is adhesive as well, and so if you're looking for something smaller, HP has got it for you. Now I'm just going in and detailing some doodles out that I drew. I did an outline of the heart as well as the paw print and added golden doodle with a little paw print near the photo of Miso sniffing some flowers. And here's the finished bullet journal spread of my golden doodle Miso using HP Sprockets photos and Tombow pens. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week.